Hi, I'm Eric with Narrow Road Van Conversions. This is Jim. He stopped by with one of our old builds that we never got on camera. So we're excited to have him here and take a little peek at what he's got going on inside this one. Come on in, let's take a look around. So what we have here is a Mercedes 144 uh, high top, long, 2500. As you can see, it's got some extra BF Goodrich tires on there, and the suspension's been tuned to accept all the weight. Up in front here, we've got your normal Mercedes area up in front. Uh, the seats do not swivel on this one. There's a sitting area over here instead. Uh, we've got a curtain coming across for some privacy. We made a headliner up above for some extra storage there. We've got some push latches in here that are kind of nice. They, you push them and they hold the cabinet faces closed. We have some more overhead bin storage up over here above the seating area. The seating area is something we hadn't done in any other van where we have a window behind the driver's seat that you're able to come in and sit down have a nice dining area where you can sit face to face uh, with a table that's removable. Some cushions. Uh, we've got some storage underneath. The bench seats. Moving back down the kitchen area here, we've got a, a flip up table. Uh, to extend the counter. We've got the cutting board that will go in to the sink area. We've got a, a little bit different uh, spray sink than we normally use here. That's got a pause and on and off feature. We have filtered water, a soap dispenser. We've got a Kenyan induction cooktop, a two burner cooktop right here. And since we're talking about the cooktop, we can talk about power. This van has six 100 amp hour Battleborn lithium iron phosphate batteries in it, so a lot of power. Uh, it has four 175 watt Renergy solar panels. Right now we're pulling in 16 amps of solar. <clears throat> we have the Victron Energy Servo GX and the touch screen in this one. It's kind of nice, you can touch it and turn your inverter on and off from there and kind of see everything that's going on, all the different draws, whether it be AC, DC, what's coming in from the solar. So it's kind of nice to have a home screen where everything's all right there. Um, moving back to the back, we've got a little step stool that helps you climb up into the bed. We have uh, the refrigerator, 12 volt fridge is underneath the countertop in this one and fits in there nice. This is an isotherm fridge and it's got a little freezer on the top also. More storage up above. Uh, up on top we've got a microwave in this one. It's a little lower draw microwave which is nice. It's a little easier on the power system. On this side we have a shower uh, with the airhead toilet. This has got a 32 inch shower pan in it uh, with the Nautilus retractable self cleaning shower door. And then up and back here we've got a bed oriented lengthwise for people to sleep forward to back. With the orientation being front to back we had some extra space on the sides over here to put some storage. On each side of the bed we have the awning bunk windows and then you can see there's a lot of storage up above also. On the other side there's a reading light on the other side and uh, the remote control for the fantastic vent fan. There's a thermostat for the hot air heater, which is a Wabasto hot air heater that uh, runs off the diesel in the tank. And then we've got a switch back here for the hot water heater that runs off of electricity, or it can also run off of the engine coolant circulates through it. So Jim stopped by after about 20,000 miles on the road 
Uh, so it's a little bit dirty, but you can see it's got some upgraded rims, upgraded tires, upgraded suspension. Moving back across, we have the shore power inlet uh, for charging the batteries. Three ways to charge the batteries in this fan. One is the shore power. Two are the four 175 watt Renergy solar panels on the ceiling, which crank a lot of power in. I saw as high as 30 amps coming in, and it's kind of a variably cloudy day. And then the third way is the alternator charges the batteries. Uh, moving back, he's got a bike rack on this uh, that pivots with the back door. Uh, you can see the bed up above here. On this side is where all the plumbing is. Uh, we've got a 40 gallon water tank, fresh water tank in here. Uh, the shower then drains down to a 13 gallon gray water tank and then the sink actually drains to its own five gallon water tank and both those have electric ball valves for draining them in addition to manual valves back here you can see there's a uh, external shower and hose um, for watering your flowers And then over on this side is where all the electrical is. You can see there's an external outlet here. Flip open to look in here into the electrical compartment. We've got six Battleborn uh, 100 amp hour batteries in here. You can kind of see the Servo GX control unit for the touch screen. And then there's some other things in here, solar controller and the rest of the fuses and whatnot. There was also a area underneath here which is where the fuse panel was located and some storage up underneath there so we had a lot of length when they sleep forward to back so we broke it off here and then there's a whole nother section about 22 inches long where they can store stuff in there and there's the inverters in there which is a Victron 3000 watt inverter and the fuse box is also in there on the side up here you can see we moved the standard interior lights into the garage area so it illuminates when the back door is open. So thanks for coming along on this journey. We never got a chance to do a video on this van. So when he stopped by, I thought it was a great opportunity just to jump in it and show you a little bit of the variety that we can offer at Narrow Road Van Conversions. So if you're interested in having us do a build for you, feel free to email me in the link below and uh, I can get an estimate out to you and put you in a tiny home of your own. Thanks.